somehow got a par. He had his hand on it, a tree on the backswing. Anyway, to make a long story short, he parred 16, almost holed out uh, 199 yard par three on 17, and uh, you know hit a ball out of the rough onto the green on 18, and then two putted. So he finished well. He was minus one, and then Tiger today uh, finished minus three. I think he had one bogey on 18. He missed a five footer uh, for par, but that's the sort of consistency now that Tiger has shown, and he's minus four for the tournament. Now he's down by three strokes. Uh, when he was done, he was tied. He may have actually been ahead, but uh, Connors, I'm not sure who he is, if I should know him, is at minus seven. Canadian. So he is at minus seven right now, and he is still out on the golf course. And Tiger is at, uh, uh, is at minus four, three back at the halfway point. So from that perspective, a good opportunity for Tiger to have a pretty good weekend as far as this, um, as far as, uh, this tournament in Tampa is concerned. It's a tournament that he, I don't think he's ever played it. I can't recall it. It's a tournament that normally gets squeezed uh, in that Florida swing. It used to be the Honda, then Doral. And then, and then this, and then Orlando, and you know this one never was played, and you know since they've gotten out of the Doral and they sort of have match play, or well, they have that world event, and not match play, they have that world event down in the, uh, one of the big events down in Mexico City, and then they have uh, this one in Tampa, then back to Orlando, and then back to Austin, Texas, and then a Houston, and then home for the Augusta. So uh, this is an event that uh, a lot of times does not get a lot of publicity, but uh, with Spieth in it. And, of course, with Tiger in it, uh, you know, when you put those two guys in the same tournament, you're going to have some juice. Juice is what we have. And right now, Tiger's had a very good event, playing well. Talk to Johnny Miller about it, as you heard earlier in the week, saying that, uh, you know, for Tiger to win Augusta, not to not to make the cut and not to play well, but to win Augusta, he was going to have to go out there and he was going to have to put himself on a Sunday in a scenario where he can win the tournament. Um, you know, where he at least put himself on a back nine in a regular tour event with an opportunity. And it looks like he's going to do that this weekend um, uh, based on the fact that uh, he's in third place right now. He's tied for second. And now he's three back. But, I mean, he's going to be, you know, one of the last groups out tomorrow. And then, of course, you figure Sunday. And how he responds to that will be very, very interesting. It's been a long time coming for Tiger. He hasn't won an event. Remember, he had that really good year about four years ago where he won about four or five times. He did not win a major, but he had a very, very good season. Um, I forget the events he won. Bay Hill was probably one of them. Um, he had a good year, very good year. But but he did not win a major. And then from that point, he's been terrible. So we'll see here uh, how this works out this week. And he is not going to play. Uh, remember, you have to qualify to play match play next weekend in Austin. Uh, the top 60-something qualify. And right now, even if he won this event, it's in two weeks to match play. Even if he won this event, uh, he would only be 76 in the world rankings. So he is not going to qualify for the match play. I don't think he play it anyways. I don't know if he wants to play play three weeks in a row, uh, but uh, you know, even if he won this week and then again next week in Orlando, you would think his ranking would be above the number. I think it's 64. Uh, I'm, I'm not positive what number you have to be with. It's in the 60s. Uh, he's right now 76. If he wins this week, and he beat 76, which would still be shy of qualifying. But then if he played well next weekend, maybe he could get in. But I don't think he's going to play three weeks in a row. Now, Tiger is not going to play Houston. We all know that last weekend of the year, uh, last weekend before Augusta, he's not going to play Houston. Uh, and then he'll go out there and play uh, Augusta. You know, it's funny. I guess uh, Phil Mickelson was on with Dan Patrick. What a job by Danny uh, with Phil early on this week. And Mickelson said, you watch. Watch, watch Tiger. He loves to do it. Watch him one-up one up me now this weekend in Tampa. And lo and behold, Mickelson might be right on the button based on the idea that uh, he won last week in Mexico City and, you know, the ink wasn't dry. The applause hadn't died down. Here comes Tiger. So there you go with him. We keep an eye on that. Orlando next week and then, Aug then Austin and then we go to Houston and then we go to Augusta. So Augusta's not that far off right now as far as uh, April 5th. We'll be into that. Uh, that first weekend in April, that full weekend. Easter weekend is the week before. I don't like it when uh, the man Masters falls on Easter weekend, I, and I just don't like that. A, too much too much holiday stuff. It's a big holiday, and then you're trying to squeeze the golf in, and the missus gets mad, and the family gets annoyed, and you're having that steak at 3 o'clock, and the last thing you want to do is talk to Grandma. You want to watch the back nine of the Masters. So this year you won't have to do that, thank God. This year you'll be in a situation 
where uh, the Easter weekend is the weekend before. So that will help. Uh, you know, Easter weekend is sandwiched around the Final Four, but remember, the Final Four is Saturday, Easter is Sunday, Good Friday is Friday. So you get a reprieve if you're into it on Saturday with the two games. And remember, the baseball season starts on Thursday, so that's a pretty good week. You're going to have baseball Thursday, you're going to have Final Four Saturday, championship game Sunday, Masters the following Thursday. So that is a good, that, that that's good as it gets. And then when the Masters is over, the NHL and the NBA are out, and then the NHL will start on Wednesday. We'll be at the hockey store. A matter of fact, I believe uh, Eddie put out a, uh, a tweet uh, saying that we'll be at the NHL store. On, uh, that's what they all told me. On April 11th, we'll be there for that special show. Uh, and then, of course, the NBA playoffs will start the 15th. So, you know, and the NBA playoffs, normally the first round is a complete bore. We understand that. Maybe better this year in the Western Conference, especially with all those pretty good teams who are dangerous, you know, at the lower seeds, whether it's Minnesota, whether it's Oklahoma City, whether it's uh, whoever, uh, whoever it might be, might be Denver, might be dangerous for Houston and uh, Golden State early on. So, that is where we begin in a busy day. Tiger and the NCAA. Plenty of calls to get to shortly. We go there. Here's our good buddy Dan Lang. He's got a sports bite.